New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. And seeing that I recently had a birthday and this was a birthday gift to me, I think today we're going to talk about cord reels. Now, I'm no stranger to cord reels and we all know how useful they can be. In fact, this is my old cord reel and it quit working some time ago. I actually found this in a trash can or a dumpster and I rebuilt it many, many years ago. I've been using it and it has started to act up again. My best guess is the brushes probably need serviced again and quite frankly, it's a small reel. It only holds a 14 gauge wire and I can only fit about 25 feet on it. Now cord reels are one of those things that when you mount them you need to be very careful on where you mount it. You need to mount it in a place that is going to work for you. When I first started setting up this shop I kind of thought I wanted it somewhere near the middle of the shop. It just seemed to make sense. But what I found out was hanging it in the center of my shop doesn't work for me. And that's because when I'm using it it's hanging in the center of the shop and I'm constantly walking around tripping over or snagging the cord with the tool that are in my hand. Now the next issue that I run into is this is about 10 feet from the door. So if I'm working in the driveway, that's 10 less feet I have of cord to work out there in the driveway. So essentially I only have about 15 feet of cord to work with. So as you can see, placement can sometimes be very important when you're mounting a cord rail. I intend to mount mine closer to the front doors in between the doors right next to my treble light rail. This way I still have plenty of cord out in the driveway. It is 65 feet long so if I need to reach the back of the shop I can and when it's laying around the shop it's not hanging directly in the center of my way. So let's take a look at the reel itself. Now again this was purchased for me as a birthday gift. There's no affiliation with this at all. I just want to talk about this particular reel because well I have it in my possession. The brand is Reelworks and by what I could tell online they make a lot of different styles of corded reels and hose reels. This particular model is considered one of their professional models and it does have a three-way tap. That's really important because last winter I found myself trying to plug in not only a battery charger on my pickup truck but also the block heater so having a three-way tap will be really handy taking a look at the specs there are a few things that you're going to want to take note of number one is how long the cord on the reel is this is 65 feet that's actually pretty generous for a cord reel it's also 12 gauge and wire which means it can handle 15 amps and this particular cord is made out of stranded junior thermal plastics which is oil and waterproof normally that w is weatherproof but they have printed on the box waterproof being a heavy duty reel it is is approximately 16 inches across and 7 inches thick. It's quite heavy and it is quite beefy. The body of the reel is made of a really thick plastic. It's a polypropylene impact resistant plastic. Mounting it is pretty straightforward. It did come with a couple of bolts but we're going to use some lag bolts. You can hang this from the ceiling or you can hang it on the wall. Operation is really easy. You just pull the cord down until you hear it click. And then you can let go and it'll hold the cord in place. To retract it you pull it until no more clicks. Let go and it'll retract itself. Having a cord reel in a shop can be a very handy tool. Your extension cord always stays tangle free, stored in an environment where it can be kept clean and they'll last a very long time. Hopefully the video about this cord reel was a little bit entertaining and if you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least, you might be entertained.